Each of us is waiting for a stream of inspiration. I love playing the smallest part and carving that stream into people's hearts. You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here, the gentleman poet, storyteller, and NACA contributor. Back for another show and more bone-chilling truth. And remember the subscribe button below for CNA TV. Friends, here at NACA, we know it's spring because we see the Japanese iris, catchfly, bellflower, and clematis, my favorite. A beautiful purple. Blooms are all aglow. Soft drafts of perfumed light. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Blue sky, white sun, and rolling green hills. Friends, the pups and I were up early on this May morning, 3 a.m. After some healthy food for the pups, coffee and oats for me, we took in the sights and sounds of the Ozarks and watched the sun come up. When I say sights and sounds, I keep coming back to my memories. When I talk about teamwork the way Naka teaches, oh, isn't life teamwork? Even the herd of milk cows, they were team players. Daisy always led, and each cow knew its place in line. And yes, they each knew which stanchion was theirs. When I see the way Naka sees teamwork, it reminds me of growing up on the farm. Friends, after I tell you about how Naka sees teamwork, I'm going to tell you my favorite farm story about a mule, and you will understand the importance of teamwork. Their strengths may be mathematical abilities, loyalty, articulation, believability, character, dependability, efficiency, honesty, inspirational. So Naka communicates with their strengths Results, team building. This is why Naka takes the lead, to inspire the team to get out of the comfort zone, to assure them it's the right path for the right reasons. That's what Naka is all about. To inspire, to motivate, and to encourage the team to move forward. Friends, each of us is waiting for a stream of inspiration. I love playing the smallest part and carving that stream into people's hearts. Friends, ready for the best? The story of an old mule named Hank. A mule that will teach us the importance of teamwork. A man was lost while driving through the country. As he tried to reach for a map, he accidentally drove off the road into a ditch. Though he wasn't injured, his car was stuck deep in the mud. The man walked to a nearby farm to ask for help. Hank can get you out of that ditch, 
said the farmer, pointing to an old mule standing in a field. The man looked at the decrepit old mule and looked at the farmer who just stood there repeating, Yep, old Hank can do the job. <laughs> the man figured he had nothing to lose. The two men and the mule made their way back to the ditch. The farmer hitched the mule to the car. With a snap of the reins, he shouted, Pull Fred, pull Jake, pull Clyde, pull Hank. And the mule pulled the car right out of that ditch. The man was amazed. He thanked the farmer, patted the mule, and asked, why did you call out all those names before you called Hank? The farmer grinned and said, old Hank is just about blind. As long as he believes he's part of a team, he doesn't mind pulling. <laughs> Oh, teamwork is the ability to work together toward a common vision. The ability to direct individual accomplishment toward organizational objectives. It is the fuel that allows common people to obtain uncommon results. Along the western coast of the United States, there are huge groves of red cedars. They're tall and they appear to be very strong, but their roots are shallow. Do you know what holds up these beautiful trees? They lean on each other. Their branches touch and support one another. Not one of them can stand alone. Teamwork? Don't we all want to be like the old mule Hank? As long as we're part of a team, we don't mind pulling. Friends, I'm out of time. Remember, Nagi always said, when you're good to others, you are best to yourself. As always, you can reach me on Twitter at JohnWilbert47. If you want me to come to your event, well, I still have my dogs, and you know how that is. Remember, it's not what we gain, but what we give that measures the worth of the life we live. Until next time, friends.